Hello, good morning, and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And very much the whole stock market is still reeling from yesterday's uh, staunch Chinese sell-off where the circuit breakers were hit, and those markets dropped over 7% on the first trading day of the year. And that spilled over onto US and European equity markets, where we saw almost a 400-point drop in the Dow. Now, the Dow actually managed to recover slightly towards the end of the session, only down about 200 points, but it certainly put uh, a lot of worry across, uh, across traders' desktops when they're looking at their trading platforms that day. And if you have a look at the geopolitical uh, impact of the Iran and Saudi Arabian um, kind of Cold War maybe slightly heating up there, there's many reasons why traders are kind of concerned about where the markets are going to go next. You're seeing very small candles first thing this morning, um, kind of falling on from the rebound from yesterday. And when we have a look at the US 30 uh, index, you'll get a chance to see that very pronounced. Where you had quite a, quite a big body of the candle, a long leg of the, of the wick, and then just so far today, very, very little movement. And I think kind of China and uh, Iran, Saudi Arabia, is very much still gonna be the flavor of the day as traders are just kind of very much looking to see what happens next. Now, the Chinese market has still come off ever so slightly this morning, but it's not been a very pronounced big move there. And um, the rest of the technicals are going to be very important for a lot of these markets, especially for euro dollar when we get a chance to look at that. It's at very, very important technical level. But what we're going to do now is have a look at the US 30 just to get things started. So what you can get a chance to see here is the long-legged candle. Uh, the body's still quite big here, but we are off the session lows with 16,936 being that potential support. CMC clients are currently 39% short on this market, so they're expecting the US 30 to, come, to uh, come under renewed selling pressure. You can see from that daily candle today, uh, we're already off the session lows and not a lot of confidence jumping to the upside there as well. Other technicals are, of course, relatively neutral. We did have a death cross on the moving averages there a number of sessions ago. And in fact, this would be three uh, black crows, usually a negative technical signal, but we are quite far off the session lows there. So some traders will see that as a rejection of a move lower. Uh, but looking at today's candle already, you can get a bit of a flavor that um, there is selling interest, even as we push on just ever so slightly higher. Moving on to the UK 100, uh, a similar candle pattern, still bouncing around that um, 21 period SMA. Um, we are quite close to the session highs there. CMC clients are a little bit more bullish in this with a 56% long position, but that is down 29% from yesterday. So CMC clients were a lot more bullish yesterday. You can just see it there, uh, down 29, and that's by cash position. Um, so we are actually in the middle of two ranges right now with 60, uh, 52 being the potential support and 62, let's just say 6,300 being the potential resistance. Moving on to Japan, 225, very negative candle yesterday, off the session lows. Uh, we were still trading below uh, short-term potential uh, resistance. It was broken support acting as potential resistance. And you can see today's candle has tried to break up higher only then to get pushed right back down again. And that level of 18,427 seems to be particularly uh, important. And the fact that we're trading below that just now and be so far off the session lows is looking a little bit negative for that Japan 225. The next potential support level is all the way down at 17,172. So then to have a look at dollar yen, uh, dollar yen advancing to the downside. Um, we've managed to break through a couple of levels of potential support uh, off the session lows with uh, yesterday's candle. But kind of tellingly, we're already moving negative again this morning. A lot of vol volatility on dollar yen. We have been uh, low towards 119. We have been that little bit higher, quite a little bit closer to 120. Um, but that, that negativity is still falling on this morning. Other technicals, we're getting into oversold territory on the RSI and the slow stochastic. That's usually an early warning signal that there could be a little bit of a reversal. Uh, an early warning of the reversal, reversal has not come as of yet. We do also have that death cross on the moving averages as well. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, um, the trend has still been negative. Interestingly, crude gapped up yesterday, managing to get as high as 37 spot 44, the potential resistance, which was a broken support from back in August, only to get pushed back into negative territory and to hug that 21 period SMA. We're following through with another negative candle this morning. Next potential support, 34 spot 26. Other technicals relatively neutral. Looking on to gold, 
Uh, gold's been trading uh, between two ranges of 1,087 and 1,046. The each time it tries to push up higher, these candles seem to push it right back down again. So there certainly seems to be interest to push, the, to push this back down. The fundamentals haven't really changed. Dollar's gaining a little bit of strength. Uh, and obviously there's more questions about interest rates. In fact, some Fed members have talked about, you know, three to five interest rates uh, hikes in 2015 might be suitable. That's a big ask in this market, if you ask me. Um, but nevertheless, gold has had a positive day yesterday, though off the session highs. It's moving higher this morning, but again off the session highs. Um, the question is, I guess the technical aspect is it doesn't really get that bullish until we break through uh, this potential support here and then $1,100. Then you've got a bit of a change around in the, uh, in the technical picture. So then moving on to Euro dollar and GBP USD to finish things off. We mentioned before Euro dollar is at a very strategic technical level. Could be a descending triangle formation. It's touched um, this point here at one spot zero eight multiple times uh, since May last year. And uh, I, I think this is going to be uh, potentially significant. We haven't had a close below here. And that's the important thing. Not the break, but the close below here in a little while. Now, interestingly enough, we did have a golden cross in the moving averages just a couple of sessions ago, but that did not follow through with any conviction. Uh, and people should be watching one spot zero eight and change with a lot of interest so far today. So then looking at GBP USD, um, very volatile candle, similar to what we just saw on your dollar. Clients are actually 78% short on uh, GBP USD. They're also short on Euro dollar. So uh, our clients are bullish the USD against most of the other majors. Uh, and what we're seeing is not a continuation to the downside today. This is a real ugly candle to have to be so volatile on both sides of doji formation like this at the bottom of a downtrend. The market can't tell which way this wants to go. But one spot, uh, 4635 is the next potential support level. And you've got that longer term potential resistance at one spot. 49.51. Okay, guys, that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. Uh, why don't you guys join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next?